Yo what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. As you probably know we post content daily so if you'd like to show your support don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on but also don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shout outs and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoy the video. Everyone knows mistakes in movies happen, and movie lovers who watch and rewatch their favorite movies over and over again can easily pick out any errors and inconsistencies. One would think that movie creators would pay a little more attention to detail when millions of dollars are at stake, but it seems like the opposite is true for the movie industry, and the bigger and more expensive a movie is, the more mistakes you can find in it. While some of the things that slip by unnoticed are only small errors such as a tiny change in a character's appearance or the position of an object for instance, others are a lot more embarrassing. From blatant geographical errors to crew members or equipment being visible, you will definitely never watch these movies in the same way again once you've seen these 10 editing mistakes everyone missed in popular films. Twenty-sixteen's Moana was one of the first animated Disney movies with a female lead that didn't have a love interest. Instead, the only daughter of a chief and a long line of navigators set off on an epic voyage across the Pacific, eventually leading her people to discover new worlds away from their own. Unfortunately, it seemed like the writers and editors were not very good navigators themselves. After going up against the Kakamora, Maui decides to join Moana on her journey. When he tells her to say least, Okay, we go east to the lair of Damato. If anyone has my hook, it's that beady-eyed bottom feeder. We can see that the sun sets to his left, meaning this side is west. However, Moana subsequently navigates the boat straight ahead, which means that she is actually going north instead of east. So maybe the movie's creators should brush up on their geography. The 2002 comic book adaptation of Spider-Man tells the story of how the nerdy high school student Peter Parker turns into the popular superhero after he is bitten by a genetically modified spider and obtains spider-like abilities which he eventually uses to fight evil as a superhero while still trying to lead a normal life at the same time. Even though it is a pretty entertaining movie to say the least, the action-adventure has a bunch of mistakes that the editors missed. One of the most obvious ones occurs during a scene where Peter tries out his new powers in his bedroom. While testing his web shooters, he catches different things around the room and smashes a lamp in the process. However, when his Aunt May knocks on the door to see what all the noise is about, the lamp is back on the dresser and appears to be undamaged. In Terminator 3, Rebellion of the Machines, Arnold Schwarzenegger portrayed the Terminator for the last time as he is sent back in time to protect the targets of an advanced robotic assassin. The targets include Kate Brewster and her future husband John Connor. There is one scene in the movie when the two board a small plane and as they do so we can see the aircraft's registration number on its side. However, in the shot that shows the plane flying, the number is a different one yet by the time they land, the plane has the same number as in the first shot again. The 2001 action film The Fast and the Furious was the first part of the franchise and really helped Paul Walker's and Vin Diesel's careers take off. However, the movie contains a lot of mistakes and with such a wide choice it is hard to pick just one. The worst one is probably the one in the ultimate quarter mile race scene though. Apart from the fact that what should be a 10 to 12 second race lasts about a minute and a half on screen and that Vin Diesel's car flies up into the air after crashing into a transport truck instead of getting squashed, you can also see a stuntman in this scene. When the car is turning over you can clearly see that it is not Vin Diesel who is driving the car but a stuntman wearing a helmet. In the 20th spy film in the James Bond series, 007, portrayed by Pierce Brosnan, is investigating a connection between a North Korean terrorist and a diamond mogul who is financing the construction of an international space weapon. In the ultimate fight scene between Frost and Jinx, who is played by Halle Berry, Jinx gets lit across the stomach. However, in a scene shortly after the fight, Bond is playing with diamonds on her stomach and there is not even a small scratch to be seen. So unless Jinx has some magic power to heal herself, this is another continuity error on our list.
Most of you are probably familiar with Disney's Tarzan that tells the story of an orphan boy who was raised by apes. While the story which features talking animals and humans who can move and fight just like apes is evidently complete fantasy, there is one line in the movie that is one of the biggest fails by the Disney editors. When Jane and her father stumble upon Tarzan and his family, they think he is such an important discovery that Queen Victoria, Charles Darwin, as well as the author Kipling will wish to meet him. Everyone's going to want to meet you. Kings and scientists and famous writers. Yes, Darwin and Kipling, Queen Victoria. And I haven't met her, but I heard she's awfully nice. And while it is indeed more than likely that one of the most important biologists and the author of The Jungle Book would want to meet a boy who was raised by apes in the jungle, Darwin actually died in 1882, when Kipling was only 17 years old, and writing for newspapers in India, with his most famous book not being published for another 10 years. Obviously, writers or editors should have done some fact-checking in this case. The 2012 superhero movie The Avengers that is based on the eponymous Marvel Comics superhero team was a huge hit, and not only for comic book fans. However, like with most action-packed movies that have so many details, there are bound to be a few errors and continuity mistakes. In the final fight scene in the city, there is a moment when Captain America and Thor battle the Chitauri, and Captain America is shot in the ribs. His suit gets damaged by the shot, and we can clearly see the burn mark it left. Yet in a later scene, his suit is as good as new, and one has to wonder if he perhaps somehow found the time to change his outfit. Even though Jurassic World got mixed reviews with its quality being the main subject to criticism, the reboot was well received by fans of the franchise in spite of its many mistakes and blunders. In one scene, a military team is chasing after an escaped Tyrex, while the team in the control room is monitoring the operation. There is one shot where you can see the soldiers' heart rates, and oddly, they are all the same and none of them are increased. Now, it's one thing to use identical heart rates for all soldiers, but when fighting an Irex, one would at least expect their heartbeat to be a little bit faster. We already mentioned that Disney apparently needs to brush up on their geography, and the following example confirms this as well. As you know, Mulan is set in China, and is retelling the old Chinese folktale of a young maiden who secretly takes her father's place in the army to save him from death, and who becomes one of China's greatest heroines in the process. With the location being this important, one would not expect Disney to disregard one little detail that turned into one of their most embarrassing mistakes that still hasn't been fixed. In the scene where Mulan recovers in a medic's tent, you can see a gigantic Japanese flag on the outside of the tent, and one of the characters standing in front of the tent also has a Japanese flag on his clothes. And, considering that the Chinese and Japanese flags have basically nothing in common, there is really no excuse for such an obvious and embarrassing mistake. The epic historical drama Gladiator with Russell Crowe tells the story of a Roman general who comes to Rome as a gladiator in order to revenge the murder of his family. The creators put a lot of effort into the battle scenes as well as the costumes and scenery, but with so many details a few mistakes are bound to go unnoticed by the editors. One of the most noticeable ones can be found during the Colosseum races when one chariot hits the wall and falls over, landing on its side. This causes the cover to fly off from what is clearly a compressed air cylinder, obviously meant to help the chariot flip over. Now that certainly seems a little out of place in the times of the Roman Empire. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.